Hi dearies, this recipe is on how to make peanut burger. It is delicious and super easy to make. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and leave a comment. So here is my bowl of peanuts and I also have a big bowl, in my case a big pot. I'm pouring hot water into the big pot and I'll also be adding salt. After adding salt, I'll pour my peanuts into the pot. Yep, and then I'll just give it a light stir and cover. I'll allow it to simmer for about five to ten minutes. After ten minutes, it's time to drain the peanut, and I'll be doing this with my basket. I'll simply be pouring the water and the peanut, everything into this basket. That's it. While draining the peanuts, I know that if you've tasted peanut burger, you know this is very delicious. But if you've not tasted it, this recipe is worth the try. Like, hey God, you just need to try it and taste peanut burger. So I'm done with this and the next thing to do is to spread the wet peanuts on flat trays. The idea here is to ensure that the trays are not too crowded because I need space for air to be able to get in between the peanuts. So I'm going to be using as many trays as possible. But in this case, I think I eventually used just two trays. After spreading it on the trays, I'll be spreading this peanuts in the sun for six to eight hours. Now, after eight hours, this is what my peanut looks like. It's pretty much dried, yeah. So I'll go on with the wet ingredients. For the wet ingredients, I'm just using egg, which I'm beating right now, and then I'll get a big bowl and pour my peanuts into the big bowl. Now, these are my dried ingredients over there. It contains a little bit of salt, sugar, flour, and milk. So the first thing to do is to coat the peanuts with some eggs, and then mix it properly, mix the peanut properly. This is to ensure that the peanuts is properly coated with the wet ingredients, which is the egg. And then I'll pour my dried ingredients as lightly as possible and then I'll mix again just to ensure that the dried ingredients sticks to the peanuts. I know you're following me and you're like, okay, this is pretty easy to do. Yeah, it is. So just continue spread the wet ingredients and then put the dried ingredients and mix and coat and do this for as long as you think you need to do it till the peanut is properly coated so i need to let you know the more you do it the thicker the coating is so now i'm done coating my peanuts and the next thing i'll be doing is to remove the excess dried ingredient by simply sieving it out After saving, this is the, you know, excess. I don't need this. So next is time to cook. I'm pouring my vegetable oil into my frying pan. I'll let this oil heat up properly. And the way I'm going to be testing the heat is by putting just one peanut into the oil. As you can see, it's bubbling. So yeah, it's hot and I'm putting all the peanuts in it now. Well, not all the peanuts, but enough to get it fried, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so if you've watched this video to this point, please like this video, leave your comment, share this video, subscribe, thank you. Now as the peanut fries, what happens is it begins to float to the top and then you also have to mix it at various intervals so that the ones that don't float to the top eventually float to the top and then so that they don't get burnt. So you do this until the peanuts are brown in color golden brown so just keep mixing at intervals till they are golden brown in color that's all well our peanut is ready and all you need to do is just do this process all over again till you're done frying all your peanuts. I know you're like, what? This is how peanut burger is made. This is a piece of cake. Yeah, this is a piece of cake. It's something you can do in your free time. 
for your family for your friends like for a girl's night out just to enjoy and chill so i'm just gonna do this again till i'm done frying all the coated peanuts that i have is as easy and as simple as a b c <laughs> If you've loved this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, you know, subscribe to my channel, follow me. All my social media platforms are, you know, going back and forth on the screen. Please follow me. And also remember, like I always say, good food should be enjoyed always. Thank you for watching.